All right, is this working? Hello? Okay, so I think I'm on now. Is that right? Okay, I think... hope that's it. Uh, hello. Hello, everybody. I'm going to be walking through uh, The Mad Wizard, a Candelabra Chronicle by Sly Dog Studios today. It's a homebrew on the Nintendo. Uh, available at retro, RetroUSB.com But first I kind of want to show something a little cool that this game has. So you can you know, hit start to start the game or select to go to the manual. Manual tells you how to you know, how the game works, what to look for, all your enemies, your power-ups and stuff. Pretty neat. Then you fast forward to the end and you see in the notes there's a little there's a, there's a note in the notes book so you look at it, it's down three times, over three times, and up. So what you can do is you go to the title screen, hit right, 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 up, up, oh, no, no, wait, what the hell, what was that? Right, 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 no, 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 up, no, whoops. I'm stupid, I forgot already. It's like rights and down, right, and then up, okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three, up. Then it kicks you over to, well, that's a square. Not a square. It is a very bare bones version of Flappy Bird, which is pretty cool. So I haven't played this game for for too long before I just kind of get bored with it. I don't know if more pipes start showing up or what, but it's pretty interesting. It's an inter interesting addition to a, a game. You wouldn't really think this would be in a Nintendo game, but pretty neat. Okay, so. Whatever. All right, so we kick, get kicked back. Now the game starts. All right, so we're gonna go and get going. So the little blue pellets, an extra life. Like it's like an extra life, uh, extra hit of damage. We can't get to it yet. Uh, we're very underpowered. So this run's gonna be. I'm gonna show you how to get everything I found in the game. All the power ups, all the weapon power ups, all the health power ups, and uh, oh, do what I can to explain what's going on. Okay, so. If you hit up or you hit the A button, you float up. Right for right now, you float up one square. You can go left to right one square. So as you play through the game, you get power ups. So you can you know fly up faster, fly over, you know fly across stages or across squares a little quicker, or whatever. So you can just make your way into this tunnel. And since I'm picking up all the extra stuff, there's going to be a handful of like handful of backtracking and stuff, because some stuff you can't access until you have other power-ups. So you, I'll do what I can to explain it. I don't know. Can I have a cold? So bear with me. So the little gem thing on the left that's glowing, that's that's just the item, that's the cursor. Eventually I'll get another weapon. So for right now I just have this, this as my only weapon. And then on the right, you see the arrows going left and right, which means that's, that's how far I can move horizontally when I'm floating. And then the up arrow is how many squares I can float up. So when you start, it's one and one. You can get up to... I think three up and four over. Well, we'll see. So I can't go. I can't go up yet. I mean, there's a spot to get something, but I can't. Re I don't have enough power ups to get it. So we're gonna go ahead and just. Yeah, I took a hit there. That sucked. I'm gonna be dying a handful of times too because it's actually quicker to just die and start the game over than than actually like fight through a dungeon. Ah, got hit. So this is the fastest way I could find out, fi figure out how to kill the boss. You can get three hits or four hits on him with this cycle. Usually it's just two. 
Okay. Is that a little better? Sorry, I had I made an adjustment to the game audio. I'm hoping that helps. Nah, it doesn't matter. You can see you move kind of like the floating is kind of slow. It's kind of frustrating, but you get used to it. Here we go. Alright, so there's the first boss. And then he gives you a scroll. The scroll is what powers up your floating your floating abilities. So this one says levitation X1, which means I can move horizontally one more than I could before. So there's one, then there's two. So now I have access to a different area of the game that I wouldn't have been able to access until now. His, this movement is kind of frustratingly slow, but you get used to it. Uh, and I think this stuff could have been sped up a little bit, but it's just me. So that guy, every time he jumps, those spikes fall from the ceiling. And since you're so slow, you have to kind of plan your escape for when the spikes come by. Pretty carefully. L little, you speed up a little later. I'll, I'm gonna get that power up as well. So after that, then it won't be as hard. But for right now, it's relatively difficult. I'm actually gonna do what I can just to kill this guy now. Okay. You know, I, I should just kill this guy. That's what I should do. Okay. There. Makes, that makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> so this game is pretty cool. I mean, it has a has like an old, like a battle kid feel to it, where you, your power ups allow you different access to different areas of the game. The game itself is pretty small, as far as map is concerned. But it is interesting how the game works. Okay, so now, since I can move over two, I can go this way. <clears throat> okay. And you can float indefinitely, by the way. If you're not on your last, um, if you're not on your last horizontal movement, you can you can float indefinitely. So you can set up. You know, pretty good shots with enemies to where they can't touch you and stuff. You'll see that a little later. It's definitely, it, it, I use it uh, in a bo in one boss fight in particular, and it helps a lot. So I, don't, I don't need to kill all these guys. I can just run past most of them. So now I gotta make my way up to the tree. Now I'm on my way to pick up. The, uh, the light the light bridge? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I think it's the light bridge. Oh man, I think I went the wrong... 
think I did the wrong thing. I will see. Okay, I could have swore that I usually have the block before I have the light bridge, but maybe not. Maybe I just always played the game a little backwards. making this video just to kind of help if anyone got the game I mean help them get through it uh, kind of surprised there's not a whole lot of uh, stuff out you know, content out there for this game as far as reviews and stuff I mean, there's a few but our reviews today seem kind of weak play the game for 10 minutes and then say the game's good or bad like I don't get it but. So now if I hit down on the A button, I'll create a bridge. Now I can only do one magic spell at a time, so I, I'm gonna eventually going to get three, and then <clears throat> and you'll see what I'm talking about. So right now I can only do one. So i got to make my way down. i got to get the other one. The other spell, you'll see here in, in a second. So like, I, like we, we saw earlier, there's a, a health power-up in the house that we'll be able to get now. Up there is something I can get later, but I can't get that right now. So for right, right now I can do... I can get this thing now, because I can go... Oh, I didn't know that was going to hurt me. Oh, because I hit the... I know it. I know what happened. If you run into the uh, the... The torches, they hurt you. Okay. Life sphere, I should get all my life back. Okay, so now I have three hits of damage instead of two. Run over this way, go down the well. Now there's going to be another health, uh, health power up, but I'm not going to be able to get it yet. I'll come back to that later. So you can you see it there, but I can't get to it yet. I need to. I need my my y axis uh, floating to be one more than it is right now. So I I, just, I simply can't get that yet. But that's coming soon. So now I can get that thing in the corner. Well, this thing in the corner is pretty neat. It allows me to uh, place a block in front of me that I can stand on which helps out getting from area to area. I tend to remember the order how I get stuff in this game. I think I'm already back. For my, my normal playthroughs I've been doing for the past couple days, I'm already kind of backwards. I usually get this cube first, and then the bridge, so... Whatever. You know, 
Uh, it's actually, it might be... Let's see. That's not gonna be faster. It's fine. Let's say it would be faster to die because when you when you continue, you actually end up uh, starting. You start over at your house. This actually helps. It makes you can make the game go by a little quicker by doing that, like dying on purpose. And you get all your life back, and you get all your your health bar back too. Oops, and that was an accident. Anyway, uh, we'll see, you'll see you go to continue and you start in your house again. Two lives, full stock. Keep on trucking. So now I'm going to go all the way to the left. Now at the left is our speed. Uh, at the left is a, a potion we get that's going to speed us up. It's going to speed up our floating and stuff, which is going to make the game a whole lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the left. Now something I, I discovered, which is pretty cool, <clears throat> if you throw a light bridge on an enemy, it'll actually, it'll freeze them in place. This is pretty neat. Helps for getting around a little quicker than normal. thing here. You see it later too, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can just walk over them. Oh wait, actually I need to use the, the block. I can get up and over. And you can see, so without these, without, without these two power-ups I wouldn't have been able to make it over this wall. Which is what I, you know, I'm saying. You need to power ups all help you they all help you access different areas of the game which is pretty neat but you can have a relatively short or a relatively small map but still make it interesting to play through For this section, I'm going to use the bridge so I don't have to sit there. Because you have to shoot these guys nine times or something. Yeah, I think it's nine for the skeletons before they die. So I might as well just hop over them. How do I do that? I don't understand not playing anyway. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know any of that. <laughs> Whatever all that is, I have no idea what you're just talking about. I just hit the button. Plus, I don't know if this would count as retro. A game came out last year, I think. Or two years ago. So how do I do that? I need, a cons I need to hire a consultant or something on my channel. That's what I need to do. But we, we can't get that scroll yet either. We need another power-up. and we're, we're on our way to getting it. Why is that even an option? It's stupid. Oh, 
Or is it like not playing like if they if they do weird stuff like like eating sandwiches and stuff on the stream? Is that what that means? Yeah. That's where the false floor ends, so you use your bridge. And we get the potion. Potion is a game saver. Kinda of, so you see, everything you do speeds up. your way back. You know, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna kill myself here. So I can start at the beginning. I, I need to go back into that first dungeon. Like that, the, or the second area. No, no, the, the, the first thing that I climbed down into, I gotta go there again. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself now. So when I start, I, I pop right next to it. I got all my stuff, I got my speed, I got my lives back, I got my, health, my hit points back. And I don't have to go across the whole map again. And I gotta go back down this way. He moves a lot quicker than he used to. Makes the game it makes the game a little easier. But, yeah. Here I'm going to use the light bridge thing to uh, too late. Just walk past him. So I skipped this area the first time around because I was too slow. And I think it's possible to to do what I wanted to do, but it's just too much of a of a hassle without the the speed. Ah, stupid! I didn't want to get hit there. But I did. Okay, it's kind of annoying. Alright, so now my levitation's up two, so I can go up two and over two now, which is convenient. See, so now I can actually go back and get, go back into the well and get the health power up that we couldn't get before. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. Does it look bad? Well, no, I'm, I'm streaming from a, from the AVS. The retro AVS. Oh. Uh, I'll do that stuff later. It's fine. You know, it's faster for me to kill myself at this point. I don't want to walk through the whole dungeon again. Okay, so we'll do this. Continue. Go to the left. To go 
back in the dungeon. And this this will be the last time we go we go in this place and we've finished up with that uh, the place I was just in we, we don't have to go back in there anymore either I got everything that's in there uh, bad timing. Here we go. So now we can get this and we use the block, go up two, and then over. We weren't able to get that until I got that last scroll. I can't, like, I can go up that tree, but I can't get what's up there. It's a, a bullet power, but I can't get that yet. So I gotta truck my way to the right. Stupid. Uh, the, the, uh, this path I'm taking is just to bypass. There's a raven that's really annoying and really fast. I'm trying to bypass it, so. This way. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so I can go this way. And just fall off to fall off here, and I should be. Oh, there's the raven. But usually, if you but if you start on the left of him, he always catches up to you and hits you. So I always try to get on the other side of him, and he can he can beat him to the end of the. End of the screen. Right, here's gonna be here's gonna uh, here's gonna be the first weapon power up of the game. Uh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna pick up my uh, a sub uh, an extra weapon right now that I'm gonna use a little later. Get the little like light, little lightning bolt. Okay, so now I can switch between a lightning bolt, which comes from the bot from the top of the screen, and goes toward my body, which will hurt whatever's in the way, or this shot. Jamal, I'm on the dashboard on my computer. So where do I, where do I go now? And I gotta restart the goblin. See, so you can use this, but I don't have enough horizontal flight to be able to get to it. So we need to go around and get it that way. So I gotta hang out here. I'll show you what the lightning bolt does. So you can kind of. So if something's right above you, you can uh, kill it. This is nice.
go around this guy. Now in order to get the first power up, I'm going to just drop off the side here. Woo. You land on the tree. Blup. So you get your first power up, which will send, it'll now send my bullet like all the way across, oh, pretty much all the way across the screen. But now unfortunately I have to do all this stuff again. Something with a drop down window that says playing. Where is that? No, it says there's. It says stream information, title, broadcast language, and not playing. It doesn't let me change it. I'm gonna go ahead and reset. Is this something I have to do with stupid Twitch Prime? Is that what I need to actually have people look at my stuff? Like they're forcing you to pay for Twitch Prime. Or can I not change it while I'm streaming? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it in a second. I'm going to be playing another game anyway after this. So, it's fine. Back up here. Kill that guy because why not? Hey, what's up, Mike? How are you? You're you're, you're watching a very sad attempt at a walkthrough here. I think it's I actually think it's going pretty well. I gotta go this way. Now I'm, I'm gonna get the last, last magic spell I can use, which is. <clears throat> I'm trying to. My computer still sucks. I need money to get a real rig that can run some stuff I want. But for right now, I got, I got this. That's why. I, that's why I can't run the camera. My I, my computer isn't good enough to both access the camera and this thing at the same time. I need a 64-bit system for the Elgato to recognize it. And I don't have that, so. Uh, it came out a couple years ago. It's, it's new. Well, stupid raven, okay.
Oh, you know, okay, so I, I, I think I'm gonna kill myself. It's gonna take longer anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna kill myself here. I'm going to then spawn in my house, which is kind of far away right now. Right, so I'm gonna continue. So I'm back in my house. So I can do this now. I gotta go all the way to the left, back into that dungeon where I got the potion and there's an, I can get that scroll that we were missing a second ago it just takes a little while to get there but it's fine definitely faster because now I have all the fast magic and stuff it helps right, so you gotta go Chris, go backtracking like gold mode. Right, so now off to get that scroll now with this the teleport power up see I have to run and have to be able to run into a wall if I can't I'll end up I just basically spawn but where I was before so I, I, I need to have a wall to run into for the th for this thing to work you can, you can see that now the game's kind of picking up some speed which is nice. Okay, so gotta go up this way. Oh, you know what? I can do this. Okay, warp. Then use it there. I never, I never saw that strategy until right now. That's nice. Okay, so now I got levitation again. So I can go over three at this point, I believe. I'm gonna go over here just because it makes it. Here we go. Whoop. Makes it easier to get to this area. So now I gotta go down, down the ladder. And I gotta go chase down my next boss. Oops. Hey, okay, thankfully the the if you fall in the water and stuff in this game, it doesn't really hurt you. It just starts the 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 board over again. But you can see I wasn't able to. access this area until I got the teleport. That's why I didn't go down there earlier. I, I need to find a game that no one plays so I can speedrun and go to AGDQ. That's what I need to do with my life. Uh, up there is another weapon power up, but I can't get to it yet. So I'm I'm gonna be able to get to it after this boss. So we'll we'll see it in a second. But I, I gotta go up there in order to get it. Yeah, I saw a guy do Wayne's World for Nintendo. Thought that was pretty funny. No one plays that game.
What do you got for me, Mike? What's your your speed run? Explosion Man would be cool. I haven't played that game in a while. That game was fun. But then I'd have to learn stuff that's actually hard. I'd rather just play games that no one else plays. Makes it make my life a little easier. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't even do that. Okay, so here we come to another boss. Oops, zip across. I, I'm gonna kill myself here intentionally because I don't have the way that I beat this boss. I don't have enough life to do it. So you'll see it in a second. He did beat me at IMUG. I think he's the only one that didn't completely mess up everything. Okay, just use the lightning bolt and just kind of spam the button on. So you you use two or three. Uh, hits a life. Yeah, I think I think Chris was the only one that didn't come. Well, because Chris didn't use. He didn't try to use any of the shortcuts. I don't think he just tried to play it normally. He didn't try to actually win. He was just trying to get a score. <laughs> we all tried to go for like the wall skips and stuff, and it didn't work. Like I ended up getting stuck on a wall for a while. That kind of sucked during my run. But I did take first Nicaruga. This was nice. I almost had a perfect score. It was very close. Alright, so now I got my... See, now I can go up three. And that's going to help immensely. So we're going to go ahead... Walk across. Now, my goal is just to get to that spot that has the power up in it and then I'm probably gonna kill myself again to go back to the house oh sh why did that happen I don't know I didn't know that I didn't think that was gonna happen that was weird maybe I can do this one I'm the only one that plays it They'll have to accept me. Oh, uh, okay. So here's a pretty cool feature of the brick. It'll it can protect you from projectiles. I forgot that guy was there. That's why I got hit. I think I have two more rooms. Oh, I used the wrong button. Oh well. Well, I'm so that's cool. I'm so alive. Right. That's what I wanted, not the. Yeah, this game isn't very interesting. It's fun, but as far as like a speed running thing, I mean. Because you can maybe do like intentional deaths and some other stuff, but that's about it from what I've seen. And that's just some weird game breaking stuff that I've never, you know, I haven't seen yet. There's no one, one room away, so we gotta go this way. Up and over. Let's put this in a good spot. Here we go. So here is how you get to the hidden. So this item is hidden. You don't. I mean, it's not really. 
You don't really know what's up there. And you... and boop. So then now I gotta go to... Where do I have to go? I'll have to go to the tree. Okay. So now I have to go up a tree and get... The last scroll. The last scroll sets me up for the last area of the game. Or the last two. One's like a fire area and the other one's the actual end of the game. Ah, thought there was something to do there. Explosion Man has some pretty interesting tricks in it. Like, uh, Explosion Man 1, anyway. You can do some pretty cool stuff in that game. Uh, it depends on... I don't know. I don't know how long I've been playing, to be honest with you. 45 minutes, maybe? about maybe 10 minutes out. I can probably I can probably cut it down to like 45 minutes total. Maybe if I if I don't if I'm not constantly backtracking for uh, all the power like all the weapon power-ups cuz I mean theoretically all you need all you need is the magic stuff in order to beat the game. And I think if I didn't backtrack so much in order to get all this stuff that it might not take as long but I don't know how I feel about playing this game over and over and over again. And learning, like, one trick every two months. I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I can't get that health power up yet until I get the last, like, item of the game. I should just kill myself again, actually. It'll put me right next to the tree that I need to be at. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, so I can go up. It's not this tree, it's the next tree. And this tree contains the last scroll, so I gotta use all the stuff I've picked up so far. So now I have, I'm, I'm fully powered up at this point as far as my levitation goes. So now I can go into that tree that I mentioned earlier and get the last... Is it the last one? Yeah, I think it is. The last power up uh, for my weapon. And then I make my run toward the uh, the last area of the game, or the, the last normal area and then the, like, the boss area. So, so now I can run up this tree, which I, I could have gotten pretty far earlier, but it, it wouldn't have mattered, because I, I need to... Actually, I need to get up there, and there's no way yeah, I can do that until I have all four of the horizontal uh, power-ups. 
we got to remember this area too. So that tree is going to be important later. I got to go back to it. But I can't can't do anything about it right now. I could have just done that. That's fine. So it's important for here. I got to drop straight down well, one tile over from the from the tree trunk. I'll go over this way. I'm gonna use my all three of them to go across, or all four of them. Oh, I guess I. Could, huh? I thought I had to wait. I guess not. Whatever. It's all toward the same. Anyway, so now I gotta go back where I got the lightning bolt and go through that section of the game. And now that I'm fully powered up with weapons and everything, it's And uh, I'm most likely gonna die again when I'm finished with the, the this last dungeon I'm gonna be in because it takes so long to get out and then I gotta walk all the way across. Not, um, it's not really trial and error. Um, you just I don't know you just you play through the game and you access different areas of the game using it. Like, each power up gives you access to a different part of the map. The hardest part is figuring out a route that's you know doesn't take that long. That's where I, you know, for me, like figuring out where you need to go. Like once you get your power up, like you know what area can you use it again, or use it in. I mean, I had that same problem with Battle Kid. Like once you, with the first Battle Kid, especially because the first power up is, isn't even really a power up. He can just jump a little higher. Like it's kind of a weird beginning. Now I can float all the way across this way because I have all four of my things. Now I gotta go this way. Uh, no, there's no map. Uh, the Sly Dog Studios released a map on. Or okay, I'm not gonna say there's not a map because I might just not know how to access it. But pretty sure there's no map. But uh, Sly Dog Studios on their Twitter released a, a map, which is pretty was helpful. Like, so I, I used their map in order to. <laughs> I was getting a phone call. Yes, I got to move my phone out of the way. Mike picks up too much stuff. That's fine. Here's the next boss, which is a reef refight of Ch Chitwit, I think. Name is.
Oop, missed him. Got him. Hello. How are you? Just run around. Whoop. Fly over the fire. Now I gotta go to this. I wish you can, like, pop off the... Pop off the ladders like in Mega Man or something. Like, just hit, like, the jump button. But, can't. I might be able to just skip this dude and see how the... Oops, that did not work. I would <laughs> I, I I didn't know you couldn't do that. Whoops. I thought I was gonna be able to just fly through it. Good to know. Get him all the way across. Kill everybody in video games. Let's have them go. Oh crap. I actually do have to kind of make sure that I don't mess this up. Now I can kind of, I can breathe a little bit. There we go. Well, that was kind of that was that was kind of hard. I, I didn't realize. Should have been paying attention. I, I didn't have any more lives. Would have been more careful. But. So Tricaster here. This thing means I can do all three things at once. So I can do like a, a bridge on top of a block, or bridge under a block, whatever. Which actually would help for some movement. Cause I can, now I can use my stuff to do that, but. Now I gotta wait, make my way. You know, I'm just gonna kill myself. I'm gonna make my way up to that tree. I talked about earlier. 
this way and go to the right. You see, it's like I pretty much most of my deaths in this game are on purpose just because I want to speed the game up a little bit. I'm sure, there's a lot more I can do. Using all, using the tricaster, you make me, you make your way up to this area of the tree. Oh, you know what? Okay, so... Should I just do it? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so... There's one more power-up in the game, and I'm gonna get it. Stay on this way. Well, it's the last uh, health power-up in the game. I, we saw it earlier, and I said that I couldn't get to it yet. It's on... It's in, it's in those purple bricks. It's, they're over here. I can... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just... Yeah. Is it up this tree? I think so, yeah. hope it's up this tree. I think it is. Yeah, okay. So here's how you get this little guy. Now if you get the Tricaster... spell where you can combine all your magic. You just make your way up this way. Until your three tiles over and then go to the side. Now I gotta make my way all the way across. Kinda wish you can you know, move around more, a little more, but it's fine. This playthrough was a little longer than what I guess maybe a normal one would be, just because I'm I got all the all the extra stuff in the game. We'll go ahead and make our way back. Back up the tree. Oops, not that one. Oh, and the way the, the way the spells work, I didn't even, didn't mean, okay, so you hit, you hit up and A in order to place the block, down and A in order to place the bridge, up and B in order to do the teleport, that's it. The, the health power-ups aren't really that necessary, but 
the weapon ones are pretty necessary in order, in order to beat the boss in a relatively short short fight you need to <clears throat> get all the weapon power ups you can oh, why I just gotta, this is the last little dungeon of the game. Gotta make my way. I'm getting messed up in this room. Man, that was bad. Well, hopefully I don't... I completely forgot about that room. <clears throat> I would have planned a little better for it. For it, if I remember. Right, we're almost at the end. Nice. Now a <clears throat> refight with his gargoyle. Pretty good fight. Make our way up to the final boss. Here we go. Okay, so there's four. There's, okay, there's three normal enemies on the screen at, at any given moment. Each time you kill an enemy, a, a random one will spawn somewhere else. So my ideal setup here is to get a lizard guy on the top left platform. There's one. Okay. And to get a plant on the top right platform. I can get it pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay, there we go. Awesome. That actually helps out a lot. So wait for him to shoot. As far as I've seen, you can only get one one hit on him per cycle like this. So I wait for him to shoot. And wait for the nearest plant for me to shoot. repeat until he's dead. Save me one more hit. Okay, two more hits. Because he, he usually dies on the top of the screen. So we'll. Maybe one more. 
There we go. Okay, hey, he's dead. Yeah, the boss fight's kind of, kind of weird. It's a good. It's good enough, I guess. Having rid the land of Amundus, Heckel was a hero. The king beckoned him and thus begins his role in Candelabra. The end. So that's the end of the game. Uh, this music just... I, mean, I think this screen just stays on forever until you hit a button, maybe? But that's it. So... I don't know. 